So, yeah. Other than... Let's see who... Quentin Flynn. Philip Anthony Rodriguez. Michael Bede. Jeffy Blanc. Phil Amar was Kevin. Never would have guessed. Oh, John Kassir was... Was, uh... Monsoon. Good old Crypt Keeper. Benito Martinez was a scientist. Really, he's just a random scientist. Sonny Christina Puccelli. 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 So yeah, other than like the last three fucking boss fights, which I guess is technically half the game. <laughs> like, oh my god, that is so many issues with those last three bosses. Un... Believable. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. They really. Fighting fucking Armstrong at the end there. Like, that really made me want to hate this game. Simply because the last boss sucked ass. So, you know? It's like, that's like the last memory you're gonna have is fighting some cheap ass boss. And, like, the only reason it was really difficult is simply because you had to use that manual blade mode shit which you didn't have to use for like anything else in the entire game and you know it wouldn't have been that bad if it didn't like automatically murder your ass every single time so you get like no practice with it so it's like you have to fight him and fight him and fight him and then eventually you get back to him chucking shit at you and then it's like yay now you get a little bit of practice even if it kills you in one hit you know you're still like improving on it or whatever but it's like if they were gonna make that a requirement to beat the last boss which i guess technically if you have enough health and can whittle his health down you know you don't actually have to cut through any of those because you can just like take the hit and keep beating his ass but like really how can you make that a requirement but not give like any practice during the entire game because like it wasn't required to use it you know so like if you're gonna require us to use it you should require us to use it earlier in the game so we actually know what the fuck we're doing with it yeah I mean, it was a fun game. I definitely had fun with it. It was so ridiculously fucking over the top with the action, you know? Like, chucking Metal Gear Rex up in the air in the beginning, and then, like, cutting off one of the blades of that spider monster Metal Gear thing at the end, and, like, using that to cut him up and shit. Like, how can you not enjoy that ridiculousness, you know? And had that nice little... Japanese cheesiness that only Japanese made games can have, you know, and yeah. So it was really fun, but I think it would have been a lot more fun if I had known that it was going to be a total pain in the ass if I played on normal difficulty instead of easy. I like, really, I have beaten all three Mass Effects on insanity, you know. I've beaten Ninja Gaiden, I've beaten Dark Souls, like, I've beaten some <laughs> hard fucking games in my day, but like, dear lord, that last boss drove me insane, absolutely insane, like, I never want to think about him again, and, you know? I like going back through games and getting achievements after I've beaten them, you know? Makes you, especially a short game like this, like it took me like, what? Nine or 10 hours to beat it, you know? So it's like, really, makes you feel like you got your money's worth if you go back and get all the achievements, you know? It's kind of like getting 100% in like Donkey Kong Country or something like that, or 101%, I think it was. 101% Donkey Kong Country, you know? It's like you can, Boot your game up and show off to all your friends. I found every secret and blah, 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 you know? It's like achievements are kind of like that to me. It's like, you know, you can look on my gamer tag and I have proof that I've beaten, like, every Mass Effect on Insanity, for instance, you know? Like, 
I'm sure there's lots of people out there who have played Mass Effect, probably tons actually, and would never even contemplate beating that on Insanity, because Insanity was pretty fucking insane, you know? But I did it. I suffered through it. I could probably do it easier now, because I know like tricks and shit, you know? But like, man. Whoever designed those last few bosses giving you like absolutely no health whatsoever when like through the entire game you're like overstocked with health, you know? And then like stripping it away from you. Ugh. I wanna punch whoever designed that last boss in the dick. You know, I heard there were some cheap bosses in this game, so I was expecting to die quite a bit on at least a few of the bosses. But not in my wildest dreams would I imagine that it would take me like over an hour to beat one boss, you know? I mean, I guess it's kind of good because it made the game longer, but fuck that shit. Does not make a fun game when you're literally replaying like the same like three minute segment over and over and over again trying to get something accomplished, you know. Does not a fun game that makes. It does not. So I wonder what the infinite way. And how's business? Oh, Mr. Oh, President. Good. Her doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, duh. Duh. Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. Uh, <laughs> you're a funny guy. The breathtaking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? I will cut! Dun dun dun! I've got my own war to fight. Metal Gear Rise of Vengeance. To be continued in Metal Gear Solid 4. The only Metal Gear game I have never played because I do not own a PlayStation 3. It is very sad. But I am but a poor lowly gamer. Can only buy so many games every year. Can really only afford to support one system. Are we stuck here forever? Am I supposed to press a button? Am I? We'll never know. Until I press a button. Oh boy, game results! I got a C! That means I'm average! Man, those C's and sh Like, why do bad ranks, like, drag down your total score so much? Like, if I got an A, four B's, and three C's. Shouldn't that be a B overall? I don't know. So apparently I only played for six hours and 18 minutes. Acquired 360 BP. 143 Zandatsus. 124 is my longest combo. 268 normal kills. 199 blade mode kills. Five explosive kills. 500 kills total. Nine remaining enemies. Does that mean, like, every enemy in the game, like, I, I, like, there's 509 enemies? Like, when do my total kills be 509? Maybe. Possibly. 56 continues. 94 alerts. I don't know why they even fucking count that shit. It's not a stealth game. Um, 8 beheadings. 27 left arms. Not too bad. 41 right arms. 30. What? Three left legs and four right legs. I know I cut off 
way more legs than that. And apparently, I cut 10,000 times, and I don't know what the shit that title means. It looks like a five. <laughs> it's a five. My title is five. I have no idea what that means, but my title is five. Oh, maybe it's title number five. My title is Passing Rain, Complete Normal or Higher Difficulty in Less Than Eight Hours. Lord only knows how I managed to do that. Oh, I got another title. Mr. 1%, Complete Normal or Higher Difficulty while earning 300,000 BP or more. Title, Samurai, Complete Normal or Higher Difficulty while only using the High Frequency Blade as a weapon? Um, no, I used every <laughs> weapon there was available, but <laughs> whatever. Title, battle tested, complete normal or higher difficulty despite being discovered by enemies 50 or more times. Jack the Ripper, cut your enemies at least 1,000 times using blade mode. Nice. I got quite a few titles on my playthrough. I don't know how I got that only use use uh, your blade through the entire game I most certainly did not and I want to see what the wig does there we go collection I'm assuming let's check out our collection and then I quit! So apparently there's 77 titles? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's all my titles. What's that? Developers, I'm assuming? I don't know what I got that for, but... IDs. Okay, that's very exciting. Good to see y'all. Which one of y'all should I be punching in the dick for designing that last boss fight? <laughs> Men in boxes, the MIB. <laughs> nice. So apparently I got, I don't know. I got four men in boxes. There's obviously at least five. If, no, that one says data, not MIB, so. Apparently, I only missed one man in a box. Not too shabby. Oh, concept art. Let's have a gander. Ooh, it's Courtney. She's hot. And I don't remember what you're called, but you are a pain in the dick. So we got 25 out of 77 thingamajiggers unlocked. Alrighty, I don't know if I'll show off. Any more VR mission suckage? Probably not. Maybe not. I guess the future will tell. But for now, enjoy men on boxes, or in boxes, or round boxes, or touching boxes. Men in boxes. Thanks for watching! Thanks for suffering through with me, with the suffering of the suffering, 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 suffering. So much suffering, but only during the bosses. So much suffering. Bye!